Hey everybody, JB Malik from HonestOnlineSelling.com. How are you? Hope your year is going as good as mine is. I'm the founder of HonestOnlineSelling.com and my website has a lot of free tips. If you're an eBay seller or you want to be an eBay seller, there's a lot of free information, great ideas of how to make an honest online living using eBay, using Amazon.com as a seller. So today I want to show you how to flip eBay listings and make a profit. Before we get into that, I want to show you who I am so you know I'm not full of hocus pocus. I have three eBay selling IDs. This one here, you'll see I've been online since November 28, 2006. 735 feedback. I'm a top rated seller. This is the account I use to sell a lot of toys. I've also got um, uh, Jordan's Auto Accessories. This is another one of my accounts. I've been on this one uh, January 6, 2007 selling auto accessories on eBay. 748 transactions. Jordan's Europe. I've been on this since October 24, 1998. That's 12 years selling on eBay. 658 transactions. I just want to show you that so you know that I'm legit. You can see my feedback score. So getting back to how to flip eBay listings and make a profit. This I, I want to think want you to forget about eBay for a minute and think of this as an example. If you go to a yard sale and a little old lady is selling an old bicycle, it might be a, a you might know a lot about bicycles and it might be a antique Schwinn bicycle from the 1940s. She might not know a lot about it, but she's put it out for a yard sale because she wants to get rid of junk in her yard. You approach it and you know that it's an, a bicycle worth a lot of money and say she's asking twenty thirty dollars for it and you know that an antique Schwinn bicycle can fetch up to a hundred dollars so you buy the bicycle from her you bring it home you fix it up a little bit give it a new you know, wash it down or give it a new set of tires or something and you might place an ad in your paper selling this, the bicycle for a hundred dollars if you're enterprising uh, if you're an enterprising thinking entrepreneur like that that's what you'll do so how to flip eBay listings and make a profit it's the same concept you're essentially finding listings on eBay that are poorly described don't have clear photos, there's misspellings, the seller really doesn't know what they're doing, but they're selling the item, you bid on it, and you win it, and you turn around and you sell it for a profit, okay? So I'm going to give you an example here. Uh, I collect Batmobiles. Uh, I don't really collect them. I actually buy them and I sell them, but I happen to know a lot about them. So back in December of 2009, I, I saw this listing for a uh, 1940s Danbury Batmobile. Now, Danbury Mint made limited production run Batmobiles several years ago. Uh, and this fellow put his up for sale. Now, he's, he didn't use the word Danbury in his title. So anybody who's looking for a Danbury Batmobile would have never found this. But I look for listings that contain the word Batmobile pretty regularly. And if you notice, his photos are dark. They're, there's only three photos here. They're blurry. Uh, not a very good listing, okay? And in his description, he contains one sentence about, or he writes one sentence, rather, about the Batmobile. But the rest of his description is about his, his other Star Wars stuff that he's selling. So if I'm your average buyer and I'm looking at this listing, I'm not sure what this guy is selling, okay? But I knew that he was selling this Batmobile. I knew that the photos were uh, not representative of the item because they're very blurry, and I knew that these can fetch up to four or five hundred dollars if they're sold properly. So I placed a high bid of one hundred and fifty-seven dollars on eBay, and there was nobody competing with me after one hundred the one hundred and twelve dollar bid. So I got the item for one hundred twelve dollars and fifty cents. And at, this is before Christmas, you'll notice. After Christmas, I put the item online. This is after Christmas. This is after when people's pockets are empty from spending money on gifts. So I put the item up for sale on eBay with a buy it now price of $220. And I took better photos. I put the free shipping banner in the gallery photo. Okay, you'll see I put a very rich description. I actually identified that this Batmobile had two small imperfections on it. It's something that the person I bought it from didn't do. And uh, the imperfections were a couple of very small paint chips on it that you can hardly notice. But still to a collector, that's going to decrease the value. But I want to be honest to my listings. So here's, you can see a further description. You can see better photos, etc. So I sold the item in January, one month after I bought it, because I just took my time posting it, for $220. Remember, I bought it for $112.50. So after 
the free shipping I threw in and the eBay and PayPal transaction fees, I probably made a, a profit of about $80. Okay, and that's about a 70-75% profit margin, which is excellent. Okay, you can do this too. I do this quite a bit, and anybody can do this. So I have some tips here for you. How to flip listings. One, choose an item you're familiar with. For me, it's Batmobiles and a host of other items. But you may be an expert in collecting coins or collecting Hot Wheel cars or collecting uh, those decorative spoons that come from around the world or uh, bicycles or car parts that are from vintage cars. So make sure that if you're going to do this, you're going to flip items, you choose an item that you're familiar with. Number two, know what the item has sold for in the past. You can look at on eBay on the completed listings and see what the similar items or the exact items have sold for in the past. You have to make sure that before you do this, you know you're going to get a healthy profit margin from flipping the item. So number three, when you've identified the item that you want to buy, look for other sellers' faulty auction listings. I showed you the Batmobile example. Poor photos, misspellings, missing words in the title, which happens quite often. That means this seller is not going to get a lot of buyers. If he has it up for auction, you have a chance of snapping up the item for a low price. And to do that, I bid up to 50% of what I know I can sell the item for. If I know I can sell the item for $100, the maximum I'm going to bid on the item that I'm trying to flip is $50. If you win and get the item, post the item on eBay, take great clear photos, lots of photos, use a very great, uh, very good colorful description, and place a buy it now price of two times the price you paid. So if you happen to get the item for $50, make sure you post it at $100 with a buy it now price, at least 100 or more if you can get it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that list, uh, this video. And uh, I've got more free ideas and tips if you go to my website, honestonlineselling.com. And there's a link there. You can subscribe to my newsletter. I don't sell anything in a uh, belligerent fashion. I really, there's a lot of free information I'm giving away. And uh, I hope you check it out. And I hope you bookmark it. And I hope you come back often and look for more videos. Thank you and have a great day.